Okay, so for the sake of time purposes, I've done all my nails besides the rainbow and my one last pointer finger. So I have done all the nails. I like to put tape just on both on both sides of my finger just so I don't get anything on my skin. I'm just using a piece of paper towel rolled into like a little chunk, I guess. You can also use a makeup sponge for this part if you have one, an extra one laying around, but I didn't. This color I'm using is Refresh Mint by China Glaze, and I'm just going to paint it onto the end of the paper towel. And just put it almost all over the nail. And my base color is Alpine Snow by China or by OPI. So you're just going to kind of pat it all over your nail, leaving just a little bit of white at the bottom for like a kind of gradient effect. So you want to put it all over the whole entire nail because we're doing like a gradient, and then on top of the gradient, we're going to put um, gold glitter. So you have to let this dry. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes to dry, and then we'll we'll do the second color. Okay, on the same piece of paper towel, I'm just going to go in with my next color, which is Four Leaf Clover by China Glaze. And we're just going to stamp it on, leaving a little bit of the green showing, and then bring this all the way up to the top, like that. Then we're going to let this layer dry. Okay, for the last color, I'm still using the same piece of paper towel, and I'm going to put my last color on, which is P.I. by Sephora Mermaid to Order. And I'm just going to kind of put this towards the tip area. It's a little bit darker, you can see it. I didn't like this harsh line in all of my nails, so I actually went back over with the first color, which is Refreshment, just to kind of blend the dark um, four leaf clover color by China Glaze with the Refreshment. So on the same piece of paper towel, I'm going to go back over with Refreshment. Just like that. So that is the green part. We're going to let that dry, then we're going to go in with the glitter, and then I'm going to show you how to do the rainbow nail. Okay, for the gold glitter part, um, I actually put a little too much, I think, on my middle finger, but like on my pinky and on my thumb, you can see it looks a little bit better. But what I'm using is China Glaze Medallion, one of my favorite gold glitters, and we're just going to put it kind of along the top edge of the nail, and then just bring it down in no particular, you know, way, just kind of dab it along. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can take the tape off. And I'm just going to use like a little nail art kind of thing and paint each color of the rainbow onto this and draw the rainbow. The first color is red. I'm using Big Apple Red by OPI. I'm just going to literally paint the wand. We're going to do it downwards. And it's okay if it's not perfect. The next color is purple and it's Grape Pop by China Glaze. And just follow that pattern. And this color is Lemon Fizz by China Glaze. The base color for this nail is What's With The Catitude by o OPI, the blue color for the sky. Blue color is Frostbite by China Glaze. So there's my little rainbow, and then we're going to let this dry, then we're going to go in with the cloud and the glitter. Okay, for the clouds, I'm just going to take a fresh piece of paper towel, and I'm going to paint on the white color, which is Alpine Snow. It's going to make a cloud at the end of the rainbow. Okay, not going to lie, this rainbow is looking kind of messy, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to top the whole entire nail off with a gorgeous glitter color that's like a pastel kind of iridescent, and it's Disco Ball by Sally Henson. I love this one. We're going to put it over the whole entire nail to kind of conceal all of the little mistakes and just to make it look really pretty and glittery like the rest of the nails. Let's put it over the whole nail. Of course, I still need to add a top coat, but um, here are the finished nails. 
I think they're so cute and perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you guys try something similar to this out. Let me know what you think of this nail design. Um, if you do do something similar, then um, twit pick it to me so I can see it or do it as a video response or just send me a message. I would love to see your interpretation of this nail design. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and I hope everyone has a great St. Patrick's Day and I'll talk to you guys soon.